This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com, and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a particle logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you like my tutorials then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel it would be really appreciated. Before I start the tutorial I like to tell you in this tutorial I'm using third party plugin called Crop Code Particular from Red Giant. If you don't have this plugin you can download a free trial version from link in the description box below. Okay so let's get started. So first create a new composition let's call it main and i am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration 10 seconds long then click on ok ok let's import our logo you can use text as well now make it smaller ok now select this logo layer then right click then choose pre compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for vegas now select this effect and apply onto this layer segment set it 1 then blend mode set it transparent color i am going with white color you can use any color you want then click on ok then uh, midpoint opacity set it minus 0.300 then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on length and length amount set it 0 then go to around 2 seconds then length amount set it 1 then again go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on rotation then go to around 5 seconds and then rotation amount set it minus 8 degree Now go to around 4 seconds, then press T on your keyboard, then set a keyframe on opacity, then go to around 5 seconds, then opacity amount set it 0. Now select this layer, then press U on your keyboard, then select all keyframes, then press F9 to make them easy ease. Ok, now create another composition, so click here, then create and then rename it to particles. then click on ok now go to project window and select our logo comp then place it into this composition May then make it 3d by clicking here then turn off visibility of this layer now create a black solid layer so right click new then click on solid make it black and rename it to particles then click on ok now go to effect and preset window and search for particular now select this effect and apply onto this black solid layer design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations, photos, audio files and more. All with commercial license for extra peace of mind. Inverter Elements will make any projects better while saving your time, efforts and money. Get unlimited downloads with Inverter Elements and start creating today. Then go to emitter and uh, set a keyframe on particle per second and set it 0. Then go to around 20 frames. Then particle per second set it 1, double 0, triple 0. 
then again go to around uh, maybe 2 second 15 frames and then particle per second amount set it 0 then emitter type set it layer then velocity set it 50 and velocity random set it 100 then go to layer emitter and layer set it our logo comp and then layer sampling set it particle path time now go to particle then go to around uh, maybe 20 frames and then set a keyframe on life then go to around 2 second 50 frames then uh, life set it 1 then life random set it 50 and spear feather set it 0 size set it 8 random size random set it 100 size over life go to size over life and uh, preset set it our uh, fourth preset then opacity random set it 100 then go to opacity over life and preset set it this fourth preset then go to shading and then shadow load for uh, main set it on then go to shadow light setting and opacity set it to then go to physics then gravity set it minus 20 then go to air and air resistance set it 1 then go to turbulence field then effect size set it 20 and effect position set it 120 perfect now go to main comp then go to project window and select this particles comp then place it into this composition then simply select this layer and drag it move it forward two seconds okay let's ramp it with looks good to me now again go to project window and select our logo comp then place it into this timeline then go to around uh, maybe four seconds then select this layer then press t on your keyboard then set a keyframe on opacity and opacity set 0 then go to around 5 seconds then opacity amount set it 100 now select these two keyframes then press F9 to make them easy ease let's run the view again very nice now go to around 6 seconds then select this layer then press S on your keyboard then set a keyframe on scale then go to around maybe uh, 7 seconds then scale amount set it 80 now select these two keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this perfect okay let's create a new text layer so right click new then click on text then type your text here i type in the wolf and then make it smaller and place it below the logo now select this text layer then press t on your keyboard then hold down shift then press p now set a keyframe then opacity set it zero and move the position little bit then go to around eight seconds 
then opacity set it 100 and then change the position now select all keyframes then press f9 to make them easy ease or then open graph editor and then change the graph curve let's adjust the um, timing a little bit perfect our animation is complete press 0 to ramp preview this I hope you like this tutorial, thank you very much, I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.